Hello and welcome to another FA06 video. These FA06 videos are eagerly awaited by the owners of FA06 and there are 40 or more of them in the playlist. So please watch the playlist and you will be very happy with all the training that you're receiving for your FA06. Tonight we are looking at the system control. In previous videos what we have done is we have set up some MIDI CC numbers on the various controllers, the knobs and switches of the Roland or maybe the pedals or the expression pedal and we give it a CC number and we connect it by making the CC number in the matrix control or the MFX control of a particular number the same. In other words, we give the same MIDI number to the controller as the controlled parameter. And we do that in an individual tone. So clearly that's a form of direct control where we simply match the CC number uh, between the controller and the controlled parameter. But that is a very individual. That will only do one specific tone and we will have to save it as a special uh, tone in a memory location. So what we need to do is we need to have a control system whereby all the preset tones that the instrument comes with, it comes with nearly 2,000 preset tones. All of the preset tones obviously will need a generic type of control which will work for all of them. So we put this intermediary tone control, it's called tone control in the studio set or system control in the system menu. And uh, we have this intermediary level of control between the controlled and the controller for every single parameter that we want to shift. We then go to all of our 2000 tones and we set their parameters to sys control 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then when we change those we affect the whole lot. So now we have a situation where instead of changing the parameter in an individual tone, we change the parameter in the sys control setting and on the controller. And when we do that, it affects a whole lot of tones, not just one. So having this intermediary step moves the actual control of an individual tone parameter from that tone parameter one step further so that when we change the MIDI control number it affects all the tones at the same time for that particular parameter. Now I've just made it very plain in words but you may want to go back and listen to that two or three times and we're going to show you now we're going to go to the instrument as usual and show you how that works out in practice. This particular video is very important because these controls are very obscure. You're not going to find this information in any other videos on the FA06. Believe me, I checked. Hope you guys like my shirt with the ones and zeros. I have all the binary here that you could possibly want on the shirt and it's in green, my favorite color. Maybe I'll have to start selling some Roland FA06 merch. Now when we go to the system setup menu by pressing the menu button and then selecting the system option on that menu and we, we move across the topmost tabs, topmost tabs till we reach the control setting. We see that here the control setting has been given to the studio set. But if we were turn that back to system, we would have control source 1 would be the modulation, 2 would be the aftertouch, 3 would be breath if we had a breath controller, 
and the four would be um, the foot uh, foot control. Okay, so those are the four default settings which you can change if you want to, but the fact that they're shown in blue now means that you can't change them here. In order to change them here, you would have to come down here to, you would have to set that to system. Now if I set that to system, notice they're all in red, so I can now change them to anything that I want. Now, having set that to system, that means that whatever I set those to will be applied across the entire instrument to all tones that are using Sys Control 1 to 4 to control their parameters. So this would be a global setting. If I put it back to Studio Set, then when we go over in the Studio Set screen, Common screen, we will be able to set those four parameters for tones in that studio set, any tones that are used. So we can either have global control across the entire instrument, in which case we set it to system, or if we set it to studio set, we can get a different setting for every single studio set that we do. And this particular um, approach is used with the knobs and all several other controls as well. The knobs, the D-beam and the S1 and S2 button as well as the foot pedals can all be either set system wide or studio set wide. To demonstrate the system control we are going to use Tone 504 Unearthly. This tone can be found in the synth effects category. Here is the unearthly patch as it sounds straight from the preset before I alter it. And the only thing that has effect on it right now is the modulation lever. When we drop down to the tone edit, we see that Sys Control 1 is set to pitch, as you can see. Sys Control 2 is set to LFO 1 pitch depth. Sys Control 3 is set to level, and Sys Control 4 is turned off. Our Control Source 1 is the modulation or CC1, and our Control 2 is the aftertouch and our control 3 is the breath. So that means the breath is controlling the level. We have no breath controller on CCO2. The keyboard has no aftertouch so the LFO is not being affected either. And when we move the modulation lever the pitch is being affected. That's why we get the sound we do when we move the modulation lever and we can map these parameters to whatever we feel like. What we're going to do next is we're going to map one of them to a knob, one of them to the D-beam, and one of them to another knob. And you will see for yourself that instead of moving the modulation lever to cause that pitch shift, we will be able to call, cause it with a knob instead. Okay, as you can see here, we've set sound modify knob to CC3 and uh, sound modify knob 2 to CC9. We've also set the D beam to CC12, set the source 1, 2, and 3 to those same uh, CC numbers. As you can see there, we've made those settings. We had to tweak the settings a little bit in the unearthly uh, tone patch 
and we'll show you the changes we made in a minute. But right now we wanted you to hear it. Notice that the modulation lever makes no effect whatsoever. We've completely removed it from the tone. The changes we had to make to the unearthly patch only relate to system control 2 and system control 3. System control 1 with the pitch was quite fine and obvious. In the case of system control 2, we had to make sure that we increased the sensitivity to 42 in order to get a significant effect with the LFO on knob 2. And also we turned, we made sure that all of the uh, switch effects was turned on on all of the partials. In uh, system control 3, we uh, set a negative level uh, notice we have the sensitivity at minus 44 so that as we moved our hands closer to the D-beam shutting off the light we would be able to kill it and uh, we had to turn on partials 3 and 4 in order to get that to happen. Thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel and we look forward to your presence as we produce another FAO6 video.